plan that covers maintenance like oil changes and tire rotation. It's good for two years or 25,000 times for it. If you're looking for the best value... Uh, first to Matt McKellip, behind this new push, I will get to the statement in a second. Matt, um, he has said no before, I think, in fact, a couple of times. Um, why the push now? Uh, well, in the past week, we've seen um, a, a completely different scene now that South Carolina has gone heavily to Newt Gingrich, and we've seen a rejection of Mitt Romney there and in Iowa. There's a, suddenly a chance for a late entrant, and we think Mitch is the perfect candidate for that. All right, I misspoke here. I thought we had a statement. We did not, but he, taken at his word, has dismissed this notion. He hasn't dismissed, I think, a vice presidential run out of, out of, mm -hmm. out of possibility here, but... Uh, you, you don't like Newt Gingrich, you, uh, or is it just like you don't like I, I don't any of the ones Newt, that are in the race? I feel like Newt Gingrich doesn't have a chance to beat President Obama uh, in an election. Well, I feel like Mitt Daniels has a great chance to do that. Um, what makes you say that? Do the poll numbers indicate that he would be any more successful than the former speaker? Uh, Mitch Daniels has excellent experience on uh, executive. He has mm -hmm. great credentials. A lot of people mm -hmm. do. They would be in among GOP voters in the last few weeks. And someone needs to fill that gap, or we're going to have a very dissatisfied base that's not very excited, and it would be uh, terrible to lose the election of President Obama without putting our best candidate forward. So what we're if trying the to give I hear what you're saying, Matt, but what if the argument is that Duke Gingrich is bringing out that passionate base? Um, I don't know how big it is. Like you say, it remains to be seen, but that you might be understating his appeal. I would argue, actually, that Newt Gingrich only is having the success as a rejection of Mitt Romney. If Mitt Romney had won South Carolina, it would have been a cakewalk to the nomination. And I think we hear... Period. Absolutely. And I think that's uh, kind of created a small opening for someone like Mitch to get in now. All right. Have you heard back from him, by the way? Uh, I have not. All right. Well, hope springs eternal, I guess. You keep, <laughs> keep trying, I guess. Matt McKillop, thank you. Good seeing you. Thank you. Meanwhile, do you think that this guy is unstoppable? Remember some months back when the media was saying this guy was unstoppable, too. Then uh, this guy was unstoppable. Beware those who look to the political future more often looking like their place much darker. It's simple physics. A body at rest tends to stay at rest, while a body in motion tends to stay in motion. Staying active can actually ease arthritis symptoms, but if you have arthritis, staying active can be difficult. Prescription Celebrex can help relieve arthritis pain so your body can stay in motion. Because just one 200 milligram Celebrex a day can provide 24-hour relief for many with arthritis pain and inflammation. Plus, in clinical studies, Celebrex is proven to improve daily physical function so moving is easier. And some to relieving your arthritis balance the benefits with the risks. All prescription NSAIDs like Celebrex, Ibuprofen, Naproxen, and Meloxicam have the same cardiovascular warning. They all may increase the chance of heart attack or stroke, which can lead to death. This chance increases if you have heart disease or risk factor taken for long periods. NSAIDs and serious skin or allergic reactions and ulcers, which can occur with death. Patients also taking the elderly are at increased risk for stomach bleeding and ulcers. Do not take Celebrex if you've had an asthma attack, hives, or other allergies to aspirin, NSAIDs, or sulfonamides. Get help right away if you have swelling of the face or throat or trouble breathing. Tell your doctor your medical history and find